Nigeria is yet to be at the forefront of climate change policy, despite forum at regional and international level. The alarming effect of changing climate on lives and livelihoods across the six geopolitical zones of the country needs urgent attention. We have quite a few laws that protect the environment already. Uh, again, a good example is the environmental uh, impact assessments that are required for significant projects uh, nationally. And uh, the need for this EIA is what was, what made it possible for us to stop the Cross River Superhighway that was to go through the Federal Forest Reserve from being built. So uh, the, the state government, I believe, is on their fourth version of the EIA. It shows that they are not able to demonstrate that the project is environmentally friendly and they have taken the environment into full consideration in executing the project. So that law is working. Uh, there are others that need better enforcement. Uh, the laws on logging, for example, illegal logging. There are states where uh, illegal loggers are laying bare complete forests. And, uh, those laws need to be properly enforced. We stand to gain a lot from conserving biodiversity. And we are very lucky in Nigeria because in the eastern boundary with Cameroon, we have a forest which is practically the oldest forest in the world. In the Kuru, you know, where we find those mountain gorillas. Because that forest escaped the last glaciation in the world. So you imagine, you know, tens of centuries, millennia of uh, mutation and development of species. So we don't know what treasures we have. Only about 30 years ago, they discovered a type of periwinkles growing in uh, Madagascar, which helps to cure cancer. No, there are all these wonderful things. Funding schemes have been adapted globally to support climate change mitigation and adaptation, such as clean development mechanism under the Kyoto Protocol. The country hardly benefits from these global resources due to several factors, such as stringent clean development mechanism, funding guidelines, and inadequate private sector engagement in climate change programs. National forest reserves around the country, uh, designated and protected national forest reserves, uh, uh, what we have in the Lekki Conservation Center is just uh, 78 hectares of land that is being preserved and protected. Uh, but the federal government has designated for us around the country, and yes, some not as well protected as they could be. Uh, Yankari is one example of where better protection could, could, could yield better results. Uh, but aside from those national uh, projects, uh, NCF in collaboration with, uh, for example, the, uh, the gas people, uh, we have a project in Bonny where, similar to the Lekki Conservation Center, we are protecting a vast area of land where <coughs> we are preserving the environment. We have the uh, projects also in the uh, in Edo State, in Okomo, where we are also collaborating with the state government there to try and preserve the forest environment there as well. Um, NCF is uh, an old organization, we're heading towards 30 years and we have projects from Cross River State to uh, Gashaka Gumti in uh, Adamawa State and uh, others. To combat climate change in Nigeria, there must be enlightenment campaigns, mitigation strategy, adaptation initiatives, policy and advocacy, and carbon finance. Tropical forests account for 15% of the earth land cover. Atlantic City will not hamper anything. It has even helped us. When I was small, what you call Atlantic City now used to be there. There were some palms that had been there from the colonial era. 
that went faulty that were not maintained. So sand was being removed from that part of the for our um, ocean front to other parts. So it depleted that place fast. Even Amadou Bello Way was almost being wiped off. Now the Amadou Bello Way is conserved. We have a brand new city over on this place where it, that kind of land had always been there. Where now was I can you know discuss this with anybody. I cannot give it to you tomorrow morning. I know what was there when I was small. If I get that when we come for picnic and they put you down about the village, you will run and run and run and run before you meet the sea front. Before you meet the sea. The coastline very, very fine side. It was because of nature and maybe negligence. But now we brought in a brand new city that saved us, that, that had erased and wiped off that ero uh, uh, ero uh, erosion problem. And not less than 25% carbon stock on Earth's surface. Despite the significant role of carbon storage amongst other vital benefits to human survival, there is daily deforestation leading to an increase in emission of carbon dioxide a major constituent of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, making change in land cover second largest contributor to global warming. We have, for instance, in the LCC, Lagos Lekki Conservation Center, we have managed to preserve 80 hectares of what was the vegetation of Lagos, mangroves, swamps, and all that. That's important. We are against uncontrolled um, reclamation of land without environmental impact analysis. You know, pushing away more of uh, water and all that. Because there is a balance in nature, you must not disturb lightly. So I think with more education and with more exchanges and dialogue between conservation experts and the Lagos states, we stand to gain from a better management of our existing habitat as it is. Because, for instance, we are still to assess the implications of Atlantic City for the rest of the coastline. And if it was to create land, we, we have all the way from a joint into a pair land which will be easily reclaimed at less than one-eighth the cost of Atlantic City, you know? So these are things, we, it's a continuing dialogue. And I'm glad that the Lagos State Government is increasingly aware of the need for best conservation practices. If the growing population is aware, if the growing population is educated on the need to preserve the environment, then no matter the numbers, you would still have a protected environment. You would still have uh, people that know that they do not see an elephant in the bush and they, need, they, they, they kill it for the sake of, uh, of meat. They know that uh, the elephants in the bush are dwindling and there's a need to preserve and protect them. So the numbers do come into play, but uh, we feel that that can be, the impact of the numbers can be combated more through awareness and education programs. Nigeria can combat climate change through the implementation of reducing emission from deforestation and degradation, RED, for protected area management, development of RED action plan for the country in collaboration with private and civil societies. That's our program for this week. Thank you for being a part of it. We hope to be back with you next week. But our inbox, at channelstv.com, is always available. It's bye for now.